Hello, dear dear friends. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you today and always. There is a hymn in which we sing, among other things, Change and decay in all around I see, O thou who changest not, abide with me. We don't like change. We like the familiar, especially if we don't see any good in the changes that we are seeing around us. A few years ago, I went back to my hometown in Brazil, and I went to the soccer field. It was no longer called the soccer field. Now it was multi-sport complex. The old folks home now was senior living and rehab center. And that little crooked road that led to the river where we went fishing every day was now named after an alderman. It was no longer just the river road. We don't like changes for the sake of change. We like changes when they are for the best. But COVID-19 now teaches us that there is a lot of changes going on all around us. And the impact of these changes is anybody's guess. Economically, socially, educationally, the world is changing around us. So it is very comforting to hear what the Apostle Paul has to say about it. He says, but we have this treasure, the word of God, in, jo in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God. Faith, the treasure that we hold in these jars of clay is what truly counts ultimately. And he says, therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. You see, we can take these changes without trembling, without fear because we have the most important of all treasures, the word and the promise and the love of God in our lives. This is comforting to know, isn't it? That there is someone who changes not, that abides with us. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So long, everyone.